Oh shit, it went in my eye. Hello to you and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean and my channel is Sean is it? and today I am going to be showing you how I style my hair. Now I'm not the best when it comes to hair care but this video was a request and I must say I'm quite flattered that somebody has asked to see what I do with my hair because I am literally the most low maintenance person for hair in the world. But nevertheless, it's really nice that I do get requests for videos. So if there is anything at all in specific that you would like to see me do, then please let me know because I'm more than happy to do the sorts of videos that you guys wanna see. So the hair curling wand that I use is this Babyliss tapered styler here. I have had this for a couple of years now. And to be honest, I got this when my hair was really short. It's obviously, I've had to change locations <laughs> in my um, little beauty room so you can actually see kind of all my hair in one shot. Well, I think when I bought these curlers, my hair was probably about here because I just wanted like natural waves. But obviously I've got all of this extra length on here now. So to be honest with you, I think I need some new curlers. I need a longer wand and probably a thicker barrel as well. But these, you know, I make these work to be honest and they must work okay on my hair. Otherwise you wouldn't have requested to see how I style my hair. So now these are plugged in, so I'm just gonna turn them on. So as you can see, they have two kind of little buttons here. This one down here is the on button. Um, and then you can change the temperature with these two little buttons here. I set mine to 195 degrees, but they do go up to 210 degrees Celsius maximum. So I'll just leave these to warm up now. They do come with a heat protection mat, which doubles up as its case, and they do come with a heat protection glove as well. Um, but I'm a risk taker and I don't use the glove. As far as the products go for what I use to wash my hair, to be honest with you, I just get what's on offer at Tesco's because my hair is coloured I probably should take more care into selecting the shampoos and conditioners that I use on my hair but you know I'm on a budget so whatever's on offer at the time is what I usually get I think at the moment it's just a Tresemme keratin smooth shampoo and conditioner that I use at the moment and the drying process of my hair I just leave it to dry naturally so this is the natural state of my hair it is just quite wavy really you can see all the waves going through now that it's longer it does hold a bit more weight to it so it does kind of stay down here whereas when I used to have it cut short it was a lot lighter so it used to frizz out a lot more so the brush I use is just a wet brush. I'll brush it through when my hair is wet and just leave it to dry naturally. And then obviously this doubles up as a really nice hairbrush for every day. So I'll just brush through my hair. It does get tangled so easily, my hair. I am actually trying to grow my color out as well. So in September time, I think I did get a balayage done on my hair just so it wasn't the block of colour and roots which was what it was because like I said I'm just really low maintenance with my hair I can't especially with it being locked down at the minute but I can't be one of those people that goes to the hairdressers every eight weeks to get their roots topped up that's just I'm just not one of those people so I'm just gonna let it let it grow out and um see what it looks like so whenever I apply any sort of heat to my hair, whether it's blow drying it on the rare occasions that I do, straightening it or curling it, I always, always use heat protection spray. So the one that I use is the Mark Hill 12 in one spray. I will tell you exactly what this does. This product does it all, apparently. Flawless hair guaranteed with our 12 in one formula which protects from heat up to 240 degrees, adds volume, keeps hair where you want it all day long. The lightweight spray is the ultimate multi-use product for prep, style and finish. Everything a hair addict could wish for, squeezed into a 200 milliliter bottle. Now this is my dream product. I am so low maintenance, as I've said, I can't be doing with a hair mousse and then a hair protector spray and then a styling spray and then a hair spray. It's just too much for me, too much. 
So with this doing 12 things in one product, uh, hello, this is a bit of me right here. So the, hold on, does it have 12 things? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It does have 12 things that it says it does. So it adds shine, 74% of which agree. It holds style for longer. I can add it definitely helps. 84% agree this adds instant volume, it adds texture to hair, it smooths down flyaways, tames frizz, it controls your style. 84% agree that it lifts hair at the root, it protects up to 240 degrees, defines and shapes your style. 80% agree that this product is lightweight, it strengthens and it moisturises. So it is a pretty good dreamy product if you are a low maintenance gal like me. So I'm just gonna give my hair a really good spritz with this just to make sure it's all covered. It does kind of dry a little bit crispy because it is kind of that finishing product at the same time. So I will need to brush it out before I set my curlers on my hair. Oh shit, it went in my eye. Oh, don't get it in your eye folks. So I will be sectioning my hair because I do have a lot of it. So I usually do it in about three to four sections. And then just with a crocodile clip thing, I just hold all of that in place. So then this is what I'm gonna work with first. Just a little tip, a salon I used to work in was also a hairdresser's. And when we used to go out to do weddings, the hairdressers would always ask the bridal party to wash their hair the day before they have it styled. So whenever I straighten or curl my hair, I do wash it the day before and then style it the day after. So that is a pro tip to style your hair the day after you've washed it because it does hold so much better. And because this is quite a thin barrel really, you do kind of need to take a bit smaller sections. This is why I want a bigger curling wand so I can take a bit of bigger sections with my hair so the whole process won't be as long. So I've obviously got my first little section, I take it first just around like so and then I just take it in roll it in a little bit further towards my scalp, hold it for about five seconds, and then I just release and I do catch that curl and just let it cool. I don't pin curl my hair because it would just take forever. I think if I were to pin curl my hair, I would definitely need a bigger barrel. Obviously because it is tapered at the end, these end bits do become really, really tiny, but I brush my curls out at the end, so it's not too bad. So I will just speed through all of this because it is pretty boring. I do curl my hair in front of my big long mirror as well so if you see me kind of dodging the camera a little bit it's just so I can see what I'm doing. I do like to see what I'm doing when I curl my hair. So all I'm doing is just switching hands of the curlers and I do obviously take the curls away from my head. So what I do after the end of each section, I actually take just some little hair clips and just clump the curls together. Just because I've got so much hair, if I just leave it, I'll then faff about with trying to find the bits that need curling and separate them from the bits that are already curled so at least they're kind of together here now. So then when I take my new section I can find all of the new bits that need curling.
All right, so that is that done. So now I'm just gonna remove all of these little clips. So now that the hair's like this, I will just spritz over my hair with this 12-in-1 wonder spray again. Just a light spray. And then time for my favourite part. I brush out my curls. So obviously this is very ringlety. I feel like I could be Goldilocks right now. Goldilocks and the three bears. So now I just take my wet brush and start to brush through. Once all of these curls are brushed out, I do take a little bit of hair oil. So this is the Moroccan oil. I adore this oil. If you've never tried Moroccan oil before, what are you doing? You need this oil in your life if you want to recondition your hair. It is amazing for helping your hair to grow. It is quite pricey. It's like 30 something pounds, but it is well worth it in my opinion. So. I just do like a little pump, so that's all I've got on, I don't know if you can see that, that's all I've got on my hands at the minute. Oh god, it smells so good. Once all that oil is through, just another brush. I always love brushing out my curls, it's my favourite part of doing my hair. And there we go. So this is how I get these curls in my hair. So these will last me until my next wash. I am quite lucky with my hair. I only need to wash it probably twice a week. I mean, when I curl my hair, because I really don't like sitting down and doing it, to be honest, it's a bit of a chore. So I want to get as long as possible out of it. So I don't have to do it like several times a week. So usually when I curl my hair, I can get a good five, don't judge me, to seven days until I need to wash it again. After day four, I'll probably need to start putting it in a ponytail because then it does start to look a bit weird having it down after about four days. But then I just slick it all back in a ponytail and probably on day six and seven, I'll pop in a little bit of dry shampoo. Again, just with my hair up. I probably could get away with longer if I wanted to use more dry shampoo, but it's not recommended to use dry shampoo for more than like three days in a row or something like that, because it does something to your scalp. It can irritate your scalp if you have too much of a build up of it. So yeah, I'm quite lucky with my hair that I don't need to wash it loads and loads. I, I'm not being funny. If I had to wash it every day, I would not have it this long. It's a pain in the bum as it is. It takes hours to dry. I'll um, see if I can show you the back as well. I have no idea what the back of my hair looks like. So there we have it everybody. This is how I curl my hair using the Babyliss Tapered Hair Wand. I don't even know if that's the actual name of it. Um, I think I've told you a lie. I don't think it comes with a heat protection mat. I've just had a look and this is from my GHD straighteners. I'm pretty sure it definitely comes with a glove though. Let me see if I can find them. Its actual name is Babyliss Rose Blush Curling Wand and it's £28. I can't find what it actually comes with. I think just the wand and the glove that it comes with, but that's all right, isn't it? Well, everybody, I hope you have enjoyed this video today. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, I do take video requests. So please, if you have anything that you want to see specifically from me or just any ideas in general, then comment down below with those. As always, you can head over to my Instagram and reach out to me there for anything at all. Especially with lockdown, I'm on Instagram pretty much all the time. I hate to admit that. And as always, I really appreciate your support so if you aren't already then please 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 show me some love and hit that subscribe button i shall see you next time everybody goodbye